According to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, close to 2,000 children go missing every day in the United States. There are plenty of resources investigators can use in a search, but what determines the size of the response? Fox Connecticut's George Colley investigates in tonight's special assignment. A child. Here one minute, gone the next. 18 from Connecticut who vanished and never returned are listed with the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Some have been gone for more than half a century. Sometimes a child is missing because they've had a disagreement or have run away. Uh, sometimes they're unaccounted for due to lack of communication. Or in the worst case, abducted. For a few days in March, there were 19 from the state on that list. One was 13-year-old Isabella Olashuk. One Sunday morning, her bed was made, her hearing aid left behind, but she was nowhere to be found. Orange Police Chief Robert Gagney feared the worst. This was a child that had never run away before. There uh, was nothing that anyone knew that this child ran away. Isabella was labeled an endangered runaway, and the state police issued a silver alert. At the same time, Orange Police, State Police, FBI, and several fire departments we're canvassing the woods around the family's home. A bunch of us were there too. We're gonna put this girl's picture up one more time. A massive response was underway and it went on for days. A 12 year old girl goes missing. They're searching as we speak. People are combing the area. Isabella was found here inside this vacant farm stand. A woman who had been following the story and knew the description from media reports saw a streak of blonde hair through a hole that was in this door. Successful conclusion of this case, but not every case gets the same response or media attention. In the days following the investigation in Orange, some questioned why the large response for the girl in the suburbs, while children in the city don't get nearly the attention. One column went as far to say that race was the issue. You can't just arbitrarily take all the resources and throw them at a missing person situation. That's chaos. That's not a managed uh, uh, investigation. You can't do that. It's not an issue in any way, shape, or form for the FBI. I've helped uh, uh, been involved in these sorts of things with a department of five people in, in very, very large cities. The intensity of that search could depend on if the child has a history of crying wolf. If it's a, a child who, who has had multiple incidents of running away, that might not lend itself to a as big a response. Or when all signs point to it being a planned runaway. Any missing person to us is an emergency that needs to be addressed. Mm -hmm. um, and any missing person that um, is reported to us is addressed uh, until we've located that individual. No matter how many people are involved or how much attention is gathered, there's relief when it leads to success. Literally, I was walking to go to the press conference when someone stopped me and said, wait a minute, we may have something. I'm happy to announce that we've changed the subject of this press conference. Isabella has been found. <laughs> then we were happy to give the chief the message to go out and give the good news. She's coming home. Well, the chief hugged me and uh, there were high fives and, you know, such great appreciation that this ended that way. I guess that's what happens when you call for a press conference in a church. You get a little divine <laughs> intervention. On special assignment, George Colley, Fox Connecticut. Police say the first few hours that a child goes missing are the most important. Yeah, so if you are ever in such a situation, the best advice is to notify authorities as soon as possible.